everybody, welcome to Mixology Night. I am Chef Sassone, here live from Sassone Studios. We are ready to kick off our party tonight. Let me introduce my friend Mario, DJ Rio in the house. What's up everybody? I hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. It's June 2nd, so that means it's kind of the beginning of summer because most of your kids are coming out already. So let's get this party started. What's up, man? How you been? Uh, good, busy. Yeah. You know, the kids, uh, summer vacation coming up, parties coming up, graduations. Yeah, so a lot of graduation parties. I would imagine a lot of DJs. Stuff. Yeah. So a lot of people making that next movement. Weddings, too. Book this man. Book this man right now. Give him a call, book him. If Hit that subscribe, you know, and then we can talk. <laughs> and if you're not local, like many of our uh, friends from out of the out of the state, we're here in Florida, uh, we're out of the country. Welcome to all our friends from, we have a lot of friends from India. Uh, I know we have a lot of subscribers from Brazil, um, Indonesia, wherever you're watching. Uh, if you're watching live, what's up? Comment on the chat. We have a live chat, so put some requests. Uh, we can always hit them with song requests. This is the kind of DJ party where we can bug the DJ and ask them for requests. Uh, today we're going to uh, discuss about Af African uh, beats, African music, uh, which is the inspiration to a lot of the music uh, to, to this day, a lot of hip hop, a lot of jazz, uh, a lot of the music that influenced from the African diaspora uh, originates from Africa and we're going to touch, uh, Mario's going to hit us with a bunch of different sets uh, that's going to, you know, enlighten you with some African beats, which is I think the, probably one of the trendiest trendiest uh, sounds right now, right? Uh, African music? It is, actually. From all around Africa? It is, and it's touching everywhere. So, like, you probably hear a lot of... Um, so most, most of the beats, in, not only in pop, but now you're hearing it in Latin America. Yeah. So it is kind of like a big movement right now. Yeah, I feel so, it. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so a lot of new artists are um, coming up with this genre, and then you have a lot of actually existing artists that are also with like Selena Gomez with Rema. Yeah. So you hear a lot of these remix. I just heard one with Ed Sharon, so it's like it's crazy. It's a big movie. Yeah, and a lot of soundtracks. Uh, you know, everything's a remix and a remix. Every ten years, there's a remix. Yes. Uh, but we, we're gonna go back all the way to even uh, to the early '60s, '70s, where you know the origins of Afrobeat uh, really got popularized in the United States and in Africa. Uh, but we'll touch a little base on that in a little bit. Um, we're gonna make a shot. Let's get started with a shot. How about that? You know, That's we always cool. like to get started with the cocktails. Uh, we put. Uh, I think. Do we have the recipe in the chat? Miguel, Miguel's in the ones and twos. You don't see him, but he's in the chat, so uh, he'll say what's up in the chat. That's Miguel. Uh, say hello to him. Um, if you're making a cocktail with you, get 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 your stuff together, guys. We're gonna we're gonna make this together. We're gonna have some drinks. Uh, we just took a shot uh, off camera. We're gonna maybe we're gonna take one now. Uh, but this is a hibiscus headshot. This is a shot uh, used uh, use, using tequila. I'm using the Somanejo uh, Don Julio. You can use any kind of tequila for this. It's a shot, so it, it's not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna, the main ingredient for this, I'm gonna show you here in this camera, it's a hibiscus, hibiscus flower. Traditionally, you, here, you hook me up, there you go. See, the uh, hibiscus flower right there. Beautiful flower, it's, it's purple. You see, this, this is a pickled uh, and brined and, and preserved in the syrup. So you have this nice, beautiful, like sweet, um, almost like a grape syrup, a little bit sweet floral from the hibiscus. And you probably think of hibiscus as Jamaican, and of course it's Jamaican, it's popular in Jamaican. But at one point, back in the day, you know, all the continents were united and you have the west coast of Africa connected to a lot of the Caribbean influence. And you'll see later with some of the music, like in Ghana, there's a lot of uh, Caribbean music that's inspired all the way from Africa. And hibiscus is one of those ingredients that dates back. So we're gonna start off with some ice in the shaker. And I think the, the hibiscus and the tequila go really well together. The hibiscus is already sweet, so the syrup is already sweet. And I, I, I'm gonna leave the ingredient here because this is sometimes people ask me, where do, you, where do you get this? Go to Amazon, you can probably just put hibiscus in syrup and you'll find that. So put a little bit of the syrup in there. And we're gonna put our tequila. This is an easy shot, it's just tequila, hibiscus. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna dress up our, our glasses. We're gonna grab a lime wedge. And you're just gonna 
go around the rim. This is gonna give us a little bit of that, that lime, uh, citrusy uh, lime juice that we want to, you know, kinda counterbalance the sweetness from the drink. And then we're gonna give it another, uh, uh, another little twist here by, by giving it a rim with uh, some chilies. Here I have some uh, Bere Bere uh, chili or spice mix. This is from Ethiopia. Uh, Ethiopian food is another popular uh, cuisine, African cuisine, uh, that is probably one of the most popular uh, African cuisines. And it's very delicious. And I use the spices a lot for like meats, for lamb, stews. Uh, in this case, I put some of that with some salt. And I also added, where's my little, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna tell Mario about this, but this is a, a grasshopper salt. So, so how does that work? It's grasshoppers that are ground up and dried up and ground up. That's how it works, yeah. Oh, really? And so yeah, so we have a little spicy, it's gonna give a little bit of earthiness, you're not gonna die. Uh, Trust me, trust me, trust, trust so, me. So the <laughs> salt, so that's actually grasshopper. Yeah. yeah, so it's a salt. Yeah, it's a salt for like made for rims or for cooking, and it has tiny ground pieces of grasshopper. Oh wow. Yeah. So we're gonna be like Timon and Pumbaa. All right. <laughs> Asi wenya. Uh, so we're getting the party started. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. Here we go. So we're gonna give this a nice little rim action over here. Let me put it here so you can get nice. Where can you get that? It's interesting. Where do you think you get that? Amazon. All oh, these stuff, yeah. You just go on Amazon, you can get that. Oh, okay, cool. You know, I, f I found, I, back in the day, I, I had to run around and find an ethnic market. Now you can just go to Amazon and they have all that cool nice. stuff. So I'm also going to put a little piece of that hibiscus in there too, because we have it. I think you're going to put a little petal of hibiscus in there. It's a very beautiful shot to, to begin the night. Put that in there. And we're gonna shake it up. Always shake it for about eight to ten seconds. I always say to the mug, to the pasta shaker gets nice and cold. Where your hands is like, okay, this is pretty cold. Right? So that's what you want. And we're gonna pour that right in there. So you get this beautiful hue of purple. And we're gonna also garnish it with a little lime because tequila and limes go together and sometimes you just want a little a little tinge of that. Let me give you a little close-up up here. You have that close-up there, but look at that. Look at that beautiful color. Nice. So yeah, make sure you taste, get some of the rim first so you get that, that, that heat at the first touch of your palate, and then you're gonna chase it down. Oh. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. This is good. Mm. Yeah, you get that earthiness, right? Yeah. Hey, you like that grasshopper salt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Interesting. You, like it's not, it's not really it's not, it has like, uh, yeah, a little bit of gritty, almost like an earthy uh, taste, and I think it just gives you almost like that taste of red clay. Yeah. Like the, the earth, the earth of Mother Africa, right? So, cheers to that. Um, we're gonna get started with the set. I don't know what uh, Mario's gonna, I don't even know what he's gonna pick today, so I'm excited, I'm excited. So, uh, for me, I wanna take it back, kind of, um, um, sometimes we hear these songs, we don't know how much influence it has, especially in pop culture. So one, one of my favorite artists that I kind of follow, um, Mano Dibango. Um, some of you may have heard one of his songs or just basically a word that he says, which is Makusa. Um, Michael Jackson. Kind of. Is that what he said? Mama say, Mama say, Yes. So I'm yeah. um, just gonna take oh, a yeah, little back, right. and um, hopefully you guys enjoy this set. So we're gonna dedicate this to Mano De Mango, who passed away 2020. Really? Yeah. I lo I'm a big fan. I love him. He's yeah. amazing on the on the conga. Yeah, yeah. The beast. I love him on the saxophone, or the flute. He just he uses a lot of instrument throughout his music. So I uh, hope. I hope everyone enjoyed this. So. Yeah, and, and, and we're also in the chat at the end of this, we're gonna put some of these uh, artists that we're mentioning. 
we'll, we'll put them on the chat so people, you guys can Google them, put them on, on Spotify, put them in your playlist. Uh, we'll, we'll do some of that. Hit us, Mario. <laughs>
Latin groove down, down, down the roof. Just to show you how much of an influence it is. <laughs> yeah, the the African diaspora. Obviously, we're, we're you know t today we're it's all about Afro beats, uh, African influence uh, cocktails, and African uh, beats and rhythms that really are the roots, the origin of a plethora of different sounds that now we kind of like think, oh, this is Caribbean, but. You know, it's 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 all spread out from all this African diaspora, like the Latin salsa, merengue. A lot of it's very Afro influence. Uh, you know, a lot of drum, a lot a lot a lot, a lot of beats are you know taken up with salsa uh, as well. The bachata. You know, you have yeah. a lot of like uh, my next cocktail uh, is from Ghana, you know, influenced by Ghana, and Ghana has high life, which is a a rhythm that's very like almost like a bachata, very kind of Caribbean upbeat. Um, and that's all coastal. So the, co the west coast of Africa is very like Caribbean style uh, sounds and, and flavors. Um, I want to jump into my next shot, but first of all, I want to give a shout out to, to, some, to some of our peeps, uh, some of our subscribers, some of our fans are here. Emmett from North Carolina, I see you. What's up, homie? Good to see you guys. What's up, Emmett? Brenda? Brenda Seltzer, what's up, Brenda? Hi, Brenda. Love you guys. Nicholas. We got Nick in the house. What's up, Nick? Thank you, Nick. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you guys for joining. Always fun. Always fun having you guys. Uh, later on, we're gonna have a raffle. Uh, on the chat, put your put your uh, your handle or or or, or say uh, sign me up for the raffle. Um, at, at the end of the day, we're gonna we're gonna we're not gonna announce it here. At at the very end, we'll, we'll announce it. Uh, we're gonna give away a, a little shaker. Uh, a cocktail shaker. We'll keep it to the end. You guys stick it to the end and tell your friends. If you if you have another friend that signs up and and and, and he's eligible as well for the raffle. Uh, but first, before I begin with my next cocktail, I'm gonna give myself a, a plug to our sponsor, Sasone, our our live on hands on classes. All right, this is a little bit of what we do. sign up and we do this live uh, hands-on classes we do team buildings um, you just want to hang out with a friend from across the world and we can do this live you can cook together and that's one of my favorite things about cooking because cooking connects you guys and music connects us and alcohol connects us sometimes when you drink too much it disconnects us too uh, so <laughs> handle yourself accordingly uh, all right but next cocktail we're gonna make the Gold Coast this, uh, this uh, cocktail is influenced by uh, Ghana. This was made by a bartender. I uh, can't remember his name right now. I do want to give him his props. Um, he's one of the bartenders that used to be at Death & Company in New York. Um, can't remember his name right now. If you're watching, I'm sorry, buddy. This is your cocktail. Uh, Brenda, Brenda says, uh, David says hi. David says hello. Hey, what's up, David? What's, hey, what's David. Good? What are you guys drinking tonight? And put your song request as well. We're, later on, at the spill out, if you haven't done this before, stick to the end because Mario then goes off for 30 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes. The party lingers and we and we have a full DJ uh, a party going on. So, what you're yeah, yeah, what you drinking? So we're gonna make the Gold Coast. You guys ready? Let me show you the Gold Coast. So this drink, where's my little? We're gonna start with a little ice. This is a shaking cocktail, um, and we are making craft cocktails. It is a mixology night, so. Not only do I want you to learn about some cool new music, but also teach you a proper cocktail. So you make sure you have a nice shaker and you put some ice. How much ice when you're making a cocktail? I fill up the shaker about at least half of it to a little bit more than half. 
So it's just like three quarters of the ice. You don't want too little ice because then it's just kind of like diluted, it's not cold. So we're gonna begin by adding uh, two ounces of gin. I'm doubling the recipe because I'm gonna hook up Mario and myself. All right, get two ounces there. The African influence uh, uh, flavor here, we're gonna use a little bit of honey, honey syrup. So a honey syrup is a simple syrup made with honey. So instead of using sugar and water, which is your basic simple syrup, you use equal parts, a little bit less water. So I would do like, like half a cup of honey to a quarter cup of water, bring that to a boil, and then that's, what you, that's your, your honey syrup. Another popular ingredient in all around Africa, honey. And I love, one of my favorite ingredients, one of my favorite uh, sweet uh, you know, sugars or sh sweet ingredients, because it just has a nice complex uh, caramel flavor. Uh, this is wild honey, so you get a little bit more of those floral notes. Really nice. And depends where those uh, honeys were last night. Uh, it could be really wild. You know? <laughs> All right, so we put a little bit of honey. That's gonna be your sweetness. It's gonna give it that little nice sweet amberness from the, from the honey. Uh, we got gin in there, it's gonna give you nice uh, botanicals, a little bit of floral, some kind of those, those subtle spices, juniper berries in there. Um, we're gonna put an ounce of uh, lemon juice, fresh lemon juice, always making cocktails fresh. Don't give me this uh, little green bottle that's in the fridge for months. That's gonna brighten up the whole thing, gonna give it some freshness. Then we're gonna do some uh, pineapple juice. You use fresh pineapple juice or you can get nice source. Uh, what kind of pineapple juice do you use? This is a Lakewood Organic. Show it in the camera? This is a, they're not paying me for this, but hook them up, tell them that I send you to you. Good stuff. Put a little bit of that, not even up here so you guys can see it. That's gonna give it that beautiful gold color. And it's called the Gold Coast because Ghana is the Gold Coast. Back in the day, it was rich, full of gold, and they mined it all out. <laughs> Uh, so it's a very, very, uh, that's the, the touch of the Gold Coast uh, and the honor of that. So the Australian Gold Coast? No, no, no. This is the African Gold Coast. So we have gin, lemon juice, uh, honey syrup, pineapple juice going in there. You know, it's June, Mario, so what do we celebrate in June? We got, uh, it's Pride Month. Right? Pride Month. Hey, cheers cheers to, to my Pride peeps. Uh, we have June King. Love is love, huh? Uh, Juneteenth also. And of course, we got Juneteenth. We'll so tell you it's, a, it's a holiday that now we, it's federal holiday too. I mean, yeah. It's the second year, right? We should, we should you know, also cheer for Memorial Week just passed. Oh, Memorial Yeah, we weekend. got Memorial Day weekend that just passed. Thank you for all the uh, people that, that still serve the country. Of so, course. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh, we, salute. Salute to all, to all our soldiers, to everybody fighting for our country. And everybody has fallen. I mean, what we else? Yeah, Pride Month and Juneteenth, of course. We're the, that's probably one of the most important things. We're speaking about African beats. And the African diaspora goes, you know, that's the Emancipation Day and freedom from slavery. So that's a pretty huge uh, holiday if that affected you, right? Right. So Gold Coast, we have that shaking. Get this out of here. We're gonna use the highball glasses. The highball glasses are tall, the tall ones. So when you go to the bar, it's like I want a highball glass. Normally something with a, a spritzer served with this or like so I noticed sour. That most of the time, sweet drinks they always serve them those those glasses, then, right? And not necessarily, but yeah, a lot of a lot of like sours, a lot of like yeah. uh, uh, sweet shaking drinks. Look at, look at that beautiful color, the color of the Gold Coast. Color of gold. I like gold. <laughs> Look at that. Did we make it? Yeah. This is refreshing. This is a nice. This is a nice light. Almost like a get the party started. To garnish, I like to uh, pluck from the pineapple. You could put a pineapple wedge. I feel sometimes it gets a little clunky. Uh, if it's in the daytime, sure put a pineapple wedge in there. Uh, at night, I like to keep it a little sexier, a little more chic. So I like to just put like the little tops of the pineapple. You, you, you know you know how you could tell the pineapple is ready to go? How? Well, one, you could touch it. If it's like really hard like a rock, it's not. If it's like, it has to be very green. It's kind of like brown, maybe over, overdone. 
If it smells like a pineapple and it walks like a pineapple, it's a pineapple, right? It's like a pineapple. But, but the easy ones that you can just go from, grab the, from the top, and if you can plug these little things off easily, it's, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. 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 Let me show you. Where are we going? Camera three. So you see these little things? If you plug one of these and they come off from the middle, that means the pineapple is ready, means the pineapple is ready to go, right? And you want to smell it. It's nice and sweet. That's probably the most telling part. So I'm going to plug these out. I have a little scissor, a little pruning shear, and I'm just going to give it a nice little point. You know, make it like nice and cute. It looks like your details over here. Look at that. Sue, hey, what's up, Sue? Good to see you. Look Thank at her gold coat. Look at her beautiful garnish. See, just, just that touch, it just gives a nice, yeah, elegant touch. Different. Nice little elegant touch. Nice. A sexy cocktail, right? Thank you, Mr. Sasson, for hooking me up again. There you go. You've been Sasson, guys. So this is our Gold Coast, our Ghana-inspired cocktail. Nice. Awesome. Cheers, homie. Cheers. Mm. Refreshing. Oh yeah, yeah. That's another. That's a panty dropper too. That's good. You get a lot of the pineapple. You get the nice brightness from the lemon juice. Uh, the that subtle uh, uh, honey flavor almost feels like agave. And the gin, it's almost kind of like you yeah. don't even feel it. It is. Really good stuff over here. No, it's really good. So it does have a good taste to it. Um. Very, um, you can, it, it's kind of, um, you don't even feel the, the liquor behind it. I know, that's, what, that's why it's a, a penny dropper, because you, you don't really feel it. I think the pineapple and the lime juice really yeah. take up. And, and gin, I think it's, uh, you can make this with vodka. This is, a, if, you, if gin is not your thing, uh, vodka goes really well with this. I think most clear liquids, uh, mezcal. You can make this with mezcal, mezcal. And that, but now we're going a different route. Uh, <laughs> but the beautiful thing about making cocktails, once you like make, follow the recipe once, then you can adjust it to you, what you like, right? I'm not normally a gin drinker. If I if I do, I like it more in a martini. Uh, this is a good summer drink. Actually. Great summer drink, yeah. yeah. And it is summer. We're starting refreshing. out the summer. It's very refreshing. refreshing, very light. Uh, Light and tropical, right? Right. The pineapple yes. gives you a little tropical vibeness, right? So you're gonna take us a little tropical, uh, some tropical beans. What, what, what we're going at now, Mario? So um, I kind of, if you guys hear the background music, um, this is kind of Bella Curi, which is is kind of a pioneer mm. regarding the Afro beats, very yeah. influential. Um, so he basically created a band. The most notable is Africa Seventy. Yeah. And a lot of the artists that we have nowadays, like Burna Boy and The Beatle, they kind of take, you know, his influence, and that's what you hear now until you sound. So I kind of wanted to make sure that everybody knew the background music that you were, yeah, um, that was playing while you were doing these cocktails are from Fela Kuti. Yeah, F Fela Kuti. Uh, anybody that knows, he's a legend. This this man is like the founding father of Afro beats. He's Niger. He's Nigerian, right? Yes, and and in, in Nigeria, the, the country alone, uh, the music scene there is blowing up, even back from the '70s, right? So, this is another guy. Go go on Spotify, look him up. He has some great live sets. He's, yeah. he's amazing. He's really fused jazz with with Afro beats. Uh, he literally is the founding father of Afro beats. Yeah, so. and most of his music was really because of um, kind of like social, yeah, protests. Mm -hmm. type, uh, so he really, it, it was very inspiring during the time. So it has a lot of meaning behind his music. Oh yeah, yeah. he went against the, go the, the government, uh, the, that, the Nigerian government back then. Um, but look him up, I'm not gonna yeah, bore so you with the history. Yeah, it's kind of a drag conversation. So, yeah. so a as you can see, music is powerful, right? So the, a lot of these artists use their, in their, their music to kind of make a movement. So what I wanna do now is, um, I just kind of, again, wanna show uh, what the background music was, but we're gonna take it now. Really, what Afrobeats is now today. So most right. of you have it's crazy because TikTok mm -hmm. has been a platform for all these these music. Oh and yeah, artists. yeah. 
So most of those probably songs that I'm gonna be playing, you probably have heard of TikTok. So it's just to show you how influential they become. Well, that's the, that's the beauty of like t like you know social like social these social media platforms like TikTok, right. uh, YouTube. Like we're we're together across the whole world in seconds, and you get to show and tell everybody your story and and your sounds. So, right. So Fela Kuti, so cheers to Fela Kuti. Cheers. Hook us up. Yeah, let's go. So I'm gonna make sure that we do some some of these modern songs. So hope you guys enjoy. Fast life, but I see it in slow. Oh no, and you see my lifestyle, I got G's in the tub. See many people they outside where they feed man's obo. Oh no, I'm me a standy defender like Joseph Yobo. But girl say she want Netflix and chill, so I just get even one. If you fall in love, Kelly satin. You go to breakfast, I'm not capping. Can you see dripple? I'm not catching. I'm not faking this, no fugazi. You see these feelings, I'm not catching. I'm a quest and fit, I just want it. Happiness. If I broke now my business, I'm a shy, you go right. For like for the night. Yeah, no, no. Happiness. If I broke now my business, I'm a shy, you go right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, can't, I, can't. I find the SSC be the reason why your baba want to jealous me. If you want to take up serious, I do to speed. No fit to resonate, I'm on a different frequency. Uh -huh. I don't think it's necessary. I'll be damned if there's somebody that could do like me. When I be like Musala coming off the right wing, I got to your defender, you no need to tell me. I'm a horse, finesse. Uh, and you know, send me, I'm a snake. Uh, I go carry go. If me, I got money past you. If you're not careful, oh, finesse. You know, send me a must Now you can lay out carry go. If me, I got money past you. If you're not careful, ah, finesse. Oh, oh, if I broke down my business, oh, 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 I'm a shy, you go right. Well, I get money. Yeah, you won't capture my soul. I'm again, I'll be so. Make you one more. I 
I've been rolling, probably too closing Since I put the ring on the finger, it's still frozen Love in slow motion, I wanna feel you over me, yeah Something magic in your eyes, yeah Girl, I love the way you ride, yeah And it happens every time you arrive, that's right Girl, I want you in my life, yeah There's a hip Joanna, your busy body giving me life, oh Hey, life, hey Why you do me like that? Now they don't me tonight. Joanna, your busy body giving me life for oh. hey, life. Hey. Why you do me like Joanna? my money, my body? Jo, Jo, Joanna. Why you do me like Joanna? Jo, Jo, Joanna. How you gonna do me like Joanna? Jo, Jo, Joanna. If I tell you, say I love you, oh My money, my body, now your own, oh baby It's me, Mario Party billion for the account, yo yeah. Versace and Gucci for your body, oh baby No do, no do, no do, gotta, gotta for me This. I love that. Draw, draw, Joanna. <laughs> yeah, I li- I li- I li- yeah, yeah, I love uh, Drogba. He's one of my favorite players uh, for the French team. For the French team, yeah. yeah but who, he plays, he's from where? He, what's his national team? Drogba. Nigeria. Uh, Drogba? No, I think it's. Good question. That's a good question for the chat, or we'll look it up. Uh, so, what's up? I heard we, we shots were fired. Emmett, uh, who, somebody's requesting shots? Emmett? He, he says shot o'clock. It's shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. All right, well, I, 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 I hear you. What's a good recommendation for shots? What's oh. a good liquor for shots? I mean, open up your pantry. What do you have? I, we're going to do a little bourbon. Cause this... he, has, he has vinegar. Vinegar? Oh, my God. Are, are you taking a bath or are you uh, having a shot? Vinegar? Yeah, apple cider vinegar? Yeah. I'll take a shot. Yeah, actually, I'll do a shot of that in the morning. Apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, and a little honey. That'll get your metabolism going. Uh, no, we're, we're gonna take a, we're gonna take a shot. Yeah, we are gonna take a shot. You know what? Because we're also celebrating. We have over three thousand subscribers. The la- the last uh, I think the last mixology we had one thousand subscribers, but uh, like fourteen hundred we had. Yeah. We're celebrating. We're celebrating one k. Now we have over three, uh, 3,500, I think, 35 something. Nice. Uh, so, yeah, cheers, cheers to that. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, yeah, Emma, let's take a shot. This is a shot of bourbon, not vinegar. Yeah, I give you guys here. That's for you guys over there. Hand it down to Miguel. Uh, and to all the subscribers, what's up? I know you guys are putting song requests. Uh, we, we, we're not overlooking them. We're going to put them uh, probably at the, at the end when we do our after party. But, ready? Three, two, one. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. What was that? Asuena bourbon. Bourbon. Yeah. <laughs> the, bourbon. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So this, yeah. So this, this is a good thing. Yeah. Elijah Craig, small batch. Yeah. Normally not a shooting kind of bourbon, but yeah, why not? It, you can shoot it. This is good. It's, it's good. Uh, it definitely puts some hair in your chest and it's getting good. Yeah, put. You never lot. had this. This is a private barrel. Yeah, 
Oh, that's a, a that's a, a grown man drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is 130 proof. Yeah, yeah. This shouldn't be a shot. Yeah, I don't know why even. Yeah, this, this is actually a private barrel from my uh, from Fine Spirits, my friend Harmeet. Uh, I don't know if he's watching. He might be watching too. Uh, and we're gonna bring him on to Mixology Night one of these days. Uh, that we, I, I, yeah, I, I just shouldn't have been a shot. <laughs> this is a nice salute. <laughs> salute. This is a nice. Cheers. That's Cheers. a nice sipping bourbon. Uh, but whatever, it's a it's a party, it's a celebration. We have three, we're celebrating three K uh, subscribers. Um, man, that mix is good. I, I like that. Thank you, thank you, yeah, thank yeah. you, thank you. So, any a, a, any other questions from the chat? What you got for me, Miguel? I think Emmett requested a song. Yeah, what you got, Emmett? Cardinal official Maxine. We'll look it up. We'll put it in the next mix, maybe. Uh, Mar Mario, Mar that's uh, Mario's department. You, you know who that is? Cardinal Official? Yeah, you know. You know who that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know DJ yeah. You know DJ. Yeah, I don't know the names. I, ju I, just, uh, I just hear the, the rhythm and I get my shoulder jiggle. Uh, but next cocktail. You guys ready for the next cocktail? I'm still no. sipping on this one. That shot, okay. That shot uh, got me going. <laughs> Yeah, it got me going too. I'm ready to go to the <laughs> to the club. To the club. All right. So the next next cocktail we're gonna make we're gonna make an old fashioned. I always love an old fashioned. Different er iterations of them. Uh, this is a. I didn't want to call it an African old fashioned because it's just kind of broad. Uh, so this is this is called a rooibos old fashioned, and rooibos is a tea, and technically it's not a tea. It's a bush from Africa, uh, mm. popular from South South Africa. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna show this to the camera here. Smell this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're kind of woody. Mm -hmm. Here, let me get more, let me go close up on this camera. This so this is the rooibos ground up. So it, it looks like little wood chips, and there's a. It's, you get it, you get it like a hole, and you grind it, you grind it yourself, or you get it all cracked already. It depends. Uh, you can order it and get it already loose, loose leaf. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of like ground, but like big pieces, not, not necessarily ground. Uh, or you can just buy, they have tea bags. I think what I did is this was a tea bag and I opened the tea bag and I did that. Uh, but you can get it also loose leaf. So the rooibos is a red bush from South Africa. It's very popular tea, kind of earthy. Going back to like when we tried the bere bere and, and the grasshopper, right. I was talking about those earthy flavors. Uh, this is one of those kind of like earthy, kind of like uh, almost like um, kind of botanical uh, earthiness. Got it. Uh, so this is what I did with it. I, st I steeped it. I made a concentrated uh, uh, steep liquid of the tea for a couple of hours. I did about three tea bags to oh, a wow. cup and a half okay. of water. That's cool. You want to show the camera one more time? Yep. So the rooibos, you can just get the tea bags, get like two or three tea bags, put in a cup, of half, a cup and a half of water, uh, hot water, or you can put in the microwave for two minutes, let it steep for another two minutes, strain that, let it cool down, and then you have this concentrated tea, right? So this tea you can use for cocktails. If you wanna add some sugar to that and cook it down, then you have a, a simple syrup that's tea flavored, and then you can keep that in your, in your bar uh, cabin, a cabinet for you know part of part of your uh, cocktail making action. So, so they, they use a lot of natural kind of herbs. herbs for their drinks. Then yeah, I mean this is an indigenous ingredient. Yeah, so yeah, this That's is interesting. Mostly used for teas, yeah. very popular in South Africa. It's, you know, it's very popular for uh, wine as well. Uh, oh. We're not gonna open all the wine because I know you guys are not gonna start drinking wine now. <laughs> Make this a book club, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I don't want to bore you with that wine talk. But that'll be for another uh, for one of my uh, upcoming podcasts where we're gonna just sit down and do some tasting stuff, sipping wine, uh, just a little sip and talk. That's a little sneak peek. We're gonna do that. Uh, I'll bring my friend Harmi for that. Uh, you're gonna be in the ones and twos uh, mixing there. So uh, P Pinot Tosh is a popular grape in South Africa. Also, another popular grape is Sauvignon Blanc. Really good wine. So, if you ever go to a liquor store and you want to try some African wines, uh, start with those. It's a nice, ask, ask whoever works there, hopefully they know what they're doing, and ask them, can, do you have any Sauvignon Blanc from, from uh, South Africa or a Pinot Tosh? Those are two grapes that are very good, uh, and the terroir, the land is really nice over there. They're by, by the sea. It's really good stuff. Hey, how, how do you pronounce it? It's Sauvignon 
Blanc. Uh, Blanc. Uh, my, it's French, right? So my French is not that good, right? Part of my French. Uh, Sauvignon Blanc. 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 Blanc is a, with a K. Blanc. Blanc. I'm probably even saying a little too uh, uh, accented over here. <laughs> but uh, sorry. So get those wines. Those are really good wines uh, from Africa. So we have, so this drink, the Roybos Old Fashioned. I have a tea concentrate made from the Roybos, the main ingredient here, even though we only put very little of it. Another indigenous ingredient that we're going to use uh, is date syrup. That's okay. going to be the syrup that's going to, I have it upside down because I'm, I'm trying to get, uh, you know, Get, a, get it to come out because it, it's very thick. It's like thicker than molasses, so it's, it's very viscous. And this is from the opposite side of Africa, the north side of Africa. You forget the Tunisia, Morocco, uh, where it feels uh, they're a little Middle bit more. Eastern? Yeah, they're not Middle Eastern. They're actually African, Morocco. And, and if you watch the World Cup recently, Morocco did an amazing job in the World Cup. Uh, and you know that, that's a lot of flavors. Yeah, you got a little more Middle Eastern influence uh, and dates. It's uh, one of the ingredients that I love. I love to eat dates in my smoothies, uh, just on its own. I love dates, and I've been using date syrup very often for a lot of uh, substituting instead of honey, instead of uh, maple syrup. Date syrup is really, really nice, uh, nice. Almost like a like a dark, like a molasses maple syrup kind of vibe. Really when good I don't stuff. I have that kind of syrup. Can I use like uh, maple syrup? Yeah. So if you don't have date syrup, yeah, you can substitute with the maple syrup. You can substitute with honey. You can substitute with the simple syrup. So this is literally your sweet component in the cocktail, right? So we have the uh, the date, the rooibos. You can do some bitters. Bitters is gonna add almost like this is why I like this cocktail, the old fashioned, because it has, you know, it feels almost like a witch's brew. Right? <laughs> we have uh, some red bush, we have some date syrup, we have some bitters. This is specifically a cardamom bitters. Uh, cardamom is a nice spice that's uh, Indian. I'm sure they have it in Africa as well. Um, and it, it just uh, adds another level of complexity to, to your old fashioned. And we're gonna use some bourbon. Actually, we're gonna use some rye. I'm gonna do a double rye. Is this like the most popular drink? The they have um what this this old fashioned no yeah. this this is this is my oh okay. i crafted this cocktail based with all these ingredients oh okay. so now i wouldn't say this is a uh i'm gonna say this is my my drink this is oh, my okay. this, this is my drink mm -hmm. but my drink. based with the uh, indigenous african ingredients people are asking what kind of beaters are like the best like what about angostura beaters yeah so uh, what kind of bitters are best yeah well, what's the best beaters that you recommend um I like, I, I'm a big fan of bitters. If, if I show you my, my pantry collection, I have like 10 different kinds. Uh, you can, it depends how you want to go. The bitters, it, it, the, the Angostura is, the, is your regular, like your starting point of bitters, where it has so many uh, different complexity notes, those little bitter notes, those little like kind of roots, uh, herbs, that gives, that gives you that little bitter tinge in the drink and just helps balance that. Uh, now you can get off to like chocolate bitters, which is another good one that I like. There's orange bitters, uh, cherry bitters. Those are great for like old fashions. The cherry bitters, the orange bitters, those great, go really good with old fashioned. I like the chocolate bitters. I use that for Manhattans uh, and for old fashions. I pretty much use all the bitters for old fashioned. I like also the Creole bitters, which is a little bit. Oh, Creole, yeah. yes. Uh, I don't know what, what's in it exactly that makes it. Like, you'll see it's like a little more like red. Uh, that's popular in New Orleans. Um, there's celery bitters. I use that for my uh, Bloody Mary. There's so many. Again, go on, go on Amazon and just put <laughs> bitters and, and just order a couple of different ones and, you know, mix it up, you know. Because the bar is like, a, it's just like in the kitchen. I'm a chef, but making cocktails is, yeah, a, is the same it's idea. It's very interesting because you have all these ingredients and I'm thinking like at a bar, if you go, you know, like. Yeah, you think at a bar. Weapon. Yeah, choose okay. your weapon, right? And okay. it's almost like, this is an, like an apothecary. Uh, so we have all, all these ingredients. All right, so we're gonna get started with a cocktail. We're gonna start with a little bit of our Robos concentrate. I'm making for two drinks here. I'm gonna put the, our bitters in there and the Robos tea. So this is gonna give a nice little bitterness. Our date syrup, a little bit more of that. How much do you know how to fill it? How, like, how much? Yeah, I have a recipe, which is in the chat. Uh, 
I'm eyeballing it here because I am the creator of the recipe and I, and I can see it roughly uh, what I'm doing and I'm doubling the recipe. So this is double the recipe. It might look like a lot more than what the recipe is. So we have bitters, the date syrup, the, the tea concentrate, and then we're gonna do uh, bourbon. You can do bourbon. I like rice. Uh, this is a double rye from High West. I wanna show this, uh, highlight the High West double rye as well. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, rice. This is a double rye. Uh, I guess they double right it. <laughs> I, I don't know the full specs on it, but it's that's really great. Yeah, High West. This is a distillery in Utah, in the mountains of Utah. Yeah, I think I think you have to go down a mountain to get there. Really good. Did you actually go down the mountain to get it? No, no, I didn't. I want to. You have to ski down the mountain. <laughs> so we're gonna put an ice cube in there, and we're gonna put the rye right in there. A little bit more. Why not? Let me get a little stir. My little stir. If, well, you mix, uh, George, what you mix in here, uh, tell us a little bit about your kitchen. Is there a specific um, tool that you recommend everyone or, or anyone to have in their kitchen or in their bar? Uh, specific tools uh, for the kitchen or the bar? Well, let's, let's go with the bar, right? So, for the bar, this is a tool that you need right here. This little spoon, this little stirrer spoon. Uh, it's a long, nice stirrer. It's good for scooping things out of little jars, like your cherries. It's good for when you're making your, your cocktails right here. Uh, a stirring spoon, a nice uh, stirring glass where you can stir your cocktails. This is another important tool here, the strainer. Normally you can get this whole case and this is actually a raffle item that we're gonna raffle off today. Awesome. So this is a must have if you're making uh, cocktails here. I'm giving it a little extra stirs because the date syrup is being a little uh, sticky with me. So what if the, if the date syrup at home, if it gets a little like clunky or hard, you can warm it up in the microwave. That's a trick that I like to do, just kind of like loosen it up. Interesting, yeah. If, if it's also too thick, you can also add a little water and, and boil it together, like the honey, like I did that honey syrup. That's probably uh, the way to go too with that. So, but this is good. It looks a little uh, like murky. This is good right here. So the next thing that I'm gonna add to this, we're gonna get our glasses. I'm gonna get, for the rock glasses, I always like to have these nice big chunks of ice. Ooh, where do you get those? Do you actually make them yourself? Um, I, I make them myself, uh, but these actually I bought. Amazon. You can uh, buy no, them. not, not yeah, you buy <laughs> ice. <laughs> you can buy some ice on Amazon. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays you can get anything on Amazon. Like in, in Alaska. No, but they do. But they do sell the actual. Um, you can mold. get the molds. Yeah. You, you can get yeah. the. Yeah. yeah. You can, or you could buy the expensive refrigerator that comes <laughs> with the. You, you, you can get the molds. Uh, next, the thing, the, the 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 garnish for this, we're gonna do a little cinnamon, which oh, I'm gonna nice. burn. Look at that. So we're just gonna lightly toast it with a torch. That's cool. Just oh, kind of like so cool. smoke that, right? This is giving you that, it feels like we're in the, back in the bush. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, Santeria. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, exactly. I think this, this, this cocktail kind of conjures up a little bit of that, uh, you know, indigenous kind of like, this is the bush, the, the, the voodoo bush doctor up in the, up in, up oh, in the, the, the shaman of a tribe. Ooh. Yeah, and you smell that yeah, here, right? Smell that. It smells so good. So you put I'm that over in. here in the back, so, so I'm like like admiring this stuff right here. Like, <laughs> this is talent. Oh that smells that's so good. This is talent yeah. right here. And we're gonna strain that. And we're gonna pour that right there. Look at that. Yeah, it looks. It's a nice. Yeah. Clean if you guys are not here, this oh, smells amazing. Like, this is amazing right here. I haven't drunk it, but it smells Save that amazing. for later. And I'm gonna even go a little an extra step. If if you have this at home, yeah, yeah, here I am. Yes, I am. I'm gonna smoke this. We have this nice uh, another another item. I'm getting shameless plug to all these. Uh, things. And, and before anything, you just got sazon because this is. Like yeah. Now I'm gonna sazon you up really good. Put these batteries on this. Oh yeah. 
So this is. People are asking here, where do you get that from? <laughs> this, this you can also get on Amazon. Yes, but uh, I'll put the links in the chat when we get to the party side of things. But this we're gonna. This is some peach wood chips that that we're gonna burn up, and we're gonna infuse this cocktail and smoke it up. Oh, that's that. This is interesting. There you go. They, the fans kind of blowing some of the smoke off of it. Yeah, yeah. But you see uh, it. People are going out in here. They're asking, um, where'd you get the chip from? I, they want the machine. And is there any other alternative for this chip burning wood thing? Yeah, so I I think just by what I just did, light, lighting up the, the cinnamon stick, you're going to get some of that smokiness. So just by doing that, uh, you should be fine. Uh, if you want to get this, this is a, the Homie Afuma uh, smoke machine. You can pretty much uh, put any kind of wood chips and infuse any cocktails or any food items. Or if you want to uh, uh, toke up, whatever. This you can literally, you can literally uh, light up a lot of things with this. <laughs> here, you, here you go, Homie. Thank you, thank you. I'm thank gonna make you. one for you too. I don't know if go. I want to drink this or admire it. <laughs> And you do both. <laughs> this looks good. This looks good. Like seeing in person how you created this is is yes. Yeah, smell it before you drink it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is amazing. Get a nice whiff. Oh, this is amazing. Marvelous. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this, this is like the, this is the the this smells like the roots. Yeah. This is like the root yes, of Africa. Yes. This feels like the, the 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 and that that's that's the vibe. Oh, this right is now. awesome. Sometimes you gotta give respect. I gotta give it up to George. Like I'm over here looking at him, how he creates something. And this, this is amazing. It is amazing. Thank you. This is the Roy Boss Old Fashioned. Amazing guys. Mm. If you made this at home, I hope you enjoy it cause I'm enjoying it right now. Oh yeah. This, this is, is awesome. I'm gonna make you one now, Miguel. I'll make you get one Yes, too. Miguel, once you try this, bro. Yeah. Old Fashioned is not the same. <laughs> Where do we go from here now, Mario? Yeah. Well, I mean, it is yeah, tough this, to this overcome. Is, this, this is uh, not our last set. This is not our last it's, set. No, it's, it's not. not. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I, I'm still gonna keep it out for beats because you know that's you know we want to. There's a lot of songs out there, so I mm -hmm. really haven't hit you guys with some of these um, popular songs. So uh, if you are home, I, I hope you know this dance because this was a, a big movement. So we're gonna start it off like this. So we're going to start like this. If you know the dance, you know, I hope you're doing it at home.
Don't walk it, don't try, try. You supposed to be jai jai. Kill up, come, we come, per se, my town, per se, we don't mind. But when I land, I land softly on the sofa floor. So far, so good. Go near by Joe.
I guess I ain't got no reason to mingle around. I found a superwoman that could leap from the truck in a single bound. Mommy, I'm trying to bling you down. So without shades on, can't stay when I bring you round. She put her lips on the weed and pull it to work her tongue and make me come faster than a speed and bullet. Her love stronger than a locomotive, but only for the F A B O L O U S. Sing to me, ma. For my chest, what up? Tag to get your wavy hand, my convertible jack. I said I gotta take a leak. I slide inside. You bust in the bathroom, sex in your eyes. I pecked you down low, tongue kiss the cat. Legs is upside down, twisted back. It feels so wet. I wanna go. This scenario was far fetched until I met this Caribbean honey coated, a pretty thug dream. Kissed your lips with Alize and ice cream. You told me LL, I wanna be a queen. You were born king. The dunk is morphine. Hard to find time and keep it on the hush, but still make it. Mind. Girl, I made it so right. All right, let's go somewhere and get it on tonight. Uh -huh. Get it on. Uh -huh. uh -huh. You sure don't have to be alone tonight. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. It's one on one tonight. One on one, baby. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And and now she's more. looking at me, but keep talking. Oh, now she's trying to ice you. Let's start walking. <laughs> Over on the dance floor, it's her fault, but what can she do? Oh. Tell me, baby.
wine and bubble in the abyss. Yeah, you a party animal. Do all your wine, you drive me crazy. Yeah, you a party animal. XO, XO, my love is very special. If you want it, you can have it. But don't take me for granted. So much, so much, so much things I did not say. I'm from Portmore, that's in J.A. We can do it on that beach there. Tick, duck, tick, duck, tick, duck, tick, duck. Broke it, set it, broke it, set it, broke it, set it, broke it, set it. So hot, so more you got. Extra, forget me not. When it's sweet, you, what you say? Fever, why you, why you? Fine for me, baby, everything crisp. My good love make you turn and crisp. Fever, why you, why you? Fine for me, baby, everything crisp. My good love make you turn and crisp. Yeah, I'm all in my life, man. Sous-titrage 
chargé par la digue, vieux gâteau, nous n'avons pas à la passe. C'est pas un problème pour voir. Nous faisons ça, nous voulons dans tout le pays. Le pays nous appartient. Voilà le problème de ce pays. C'est pas un problème de l'argent. L'on va arrêter dans la boucaille de jazz là. Tell me who wanna fuck with us? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, I bang and let your fucking brain tank. Snitches, fuck them all up, ain't but bitches with riches who carry 22s up in they hosiery. A black teller when my father bust and then loaded me, think he just finished sniffing the key and dipping the D's. Don't hate me, hit Nicky Barnes for hitting my mom's letting the condom pop. Nigga, I was born in a drop, coke ball in the pot. Shake the feds and bust shots at them street cops. Fuck your point is. My point is double fours at your fucking jaws pointed. Hollow point shit. Four point six. Lead I say more. How do you get the point, bitch? Come on. What type of nigga slang and bang in the streets? Bad boy. What type of nigga stay in the trunk for weeks? Bad boy. What type of nigga fly that me cool? Bad boy. Aim for the sky, cop the shit, then shoot. Niggas dragging on the floor. Bang it on your heart. From the Gucci in the winter, I seen you with your girls walking uh, in your chinchilla fur. I was laid up in the cool black shade up, looking at your face just pure with no makeup. A little bit of Mac lip gloss, hair in a bun, well done. Looking for a ring, I seen none, so I hopped out the coupe and hot the soup to stop and introduce like I'm shining. You, you my destiny in your diamond cluster, too much just to touch ya. Perfume down to your structure. Think I wait till a second night to fuck you. I wanna marry you. Now I'm just playing. We could start with a few nights out in Malibu, surfing, playing up on Persians. Here's my number. Put it in your purse and call me. On the telephone, she heard my voice. Tell me to pick her up in my Rolls Royce. If my Rolls Royce is not for ladies. Play down, get fucked and ate out. Process- 
two turn bitch, I got the gate out. 96 ways I made out. Montana way, the good F E L L A. Verbal AK spray, tip detaching. Jump out the range, empty out the ashtray. A glass of Zay, making mad caches. Clay, red dot plots. Murder schemes, 32 shotguns. Regulate with my thuns, 17 rocks. Gleam for one ring. They let me let y'all niggas know one thing. It's one life, one love, so there can only be one king. The highlights of living. Vegas style, roll dice and linen. And terror spinning on millenniums. 20 G bets, I'm winning them. Threats, I'm sending them. Lex with TV sets, the minimum. Ill sex, adrenaline, party with villains. A case of demi sec to chase the henny wet and he click. With the semi tech, who want it? Diamonds, I'm flaunting. Chicken heads flock, I lace some fry. Jesus is mad, I get more butt than ass trays. The fair one, I get mine the fast way. Ski mass way, and we can ransom notes. Far from handsome, but damn the thing I'm told. More guns than roses, foes is shaking in their boots. A visible bully, like the gooch disappear, Van Moose, you whack to me. Take them rhymes back to the factory. I see the gimmicks, the whack lyrics, the shit is depressing, pathetic. Please forget it. You're mad, cause my style, you're admiring. Don't be mad, UPS is hiring. You should have been the cop, hip hop. With that freestyle, you're bound to get shot. Not from Houston, but I rap a lot. Pack the gap a lot, the flame's about to drop. Uh. Here comes the brand new flavor in your head. Time for new flavor in your head. I'm just kicking the new flavor in your head. Like a brand new flavor in your head. Here comes the brand new flavor in your Money is power. I got millions of thumbs on salary. 